Okay, so we welcome everyone back to this channel. And we hope by the grace of God, everyone is fine. And we've met again to discuss a lot and a lot. But before we do that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And also like the videos. It will do us, a very, it will do us really, really good. Thank you very much for subscribing. So before we enter the video, once again, remember to subscribe, like, and share. And today we are talking about Black Stars players who are what likely to move from their clubs. And it's it's very, very possible. Around 60% upwards, they are likely to move away from their clubs. Some, it's due to their high performances, moving to higher clubs, and also some moving from their clubs to what to find a better place to play for. So the first on my list is Tarek Lamte. Tarek Lamte is a player who of late hasn't really featured for Brighton and Hove Albion under coach Dezebi. He has been benched and benched for months even before the World Cup. He, he had an injury which laid him off. So Tarek Lamte, also in January, was linked to French clubs and he nearly moved to Marseille and all Lyon. But the deal broke down due to last minute hinges. So Tariq Lamte could move from Brighton and Hove Albion. The right back is seeking to find what play time for his club. He's seeking play time to also what make more minutes because without minutes it will be difficult for him to what to get the blasters call up. And the next on my list is Jojo Walakot. Yes, Jojo Walakot. The Black Stars goalkeeper who helped Ghana out qualify to the Qatar 2022 World Cup. But due to injury, he lost his place in Black Stars and also in Charlton, the club he plays for, my brother. He has lost two places due to injury. And now, Charlton that place in the League 1 of of England and Jojo Walakot is finding it very very difficult to get play time because since his injury before and after the World Cup Jojo Walakot has been on the bench for months and he's seeking to find play time in another team either the English Championship or another team in the League One that's it, Tarek Lamti wanting to move from Brighton and Hove Albion, and also Jojo Walakot wanting to move from Charlton. The next on my list is Derek Atakun. Derek Atakun, a very talented and skillful left back who has really made it and made his team happy. He has helped, even though Hanover hasn't really fared well this season in the Bundesliga too. Derek Atakun as a left back has played 30 matches and scored 5 and assisted 5 goals, you know, making 10 what 10 goal inclusions for his team. Derek Atakun is now rated 5 million euros as his market value. And some Bundesliga teams are what are eyeing him. And he may surely and surely not play. The Bundesliga to next season because he would either move to the Bundesliga or play somewhere in a higher league in in, where, in Europe. Derek Atakun is the name. Bear in mind that he's a player to watch out for. 24 year old who hasn't yet switched nationality for Ghana, but he's, he's on the way or he's on the verge of doing that. Derek Atakun. And the next on the list is a player who is really performing well and has made it a point to, what, to go far this season. And his name is Joseph Pentel. Joseph Pentel, former player of Tamayut and also now player of Genk in Belgium. Joseph Pentel has given double figures, both assists and goals. And this season, also nominated for the best player of the season award in the Belgium league shows that Joseph Pinto 
could surely move from Belgium into the LDVC or maybe hopefully the English Premier League. Joseph Pinto is a winger who adds goals to his play, my brother. The 21st century wingers have really made a big change in the game. It's not only the strikers who score, but the wingers would also want poach you with goals. They will also help you with goals. And Joseph Pinto is a classical example of that. When he came to the Black Stars of Ghana, he made his pace count. He changed the games for Ghana and helped Ghana win. And when it was draw, it was time to get a draw. He also helped Ghana get a draw. So Joseph Pinto could also move from Genk in the Belgium Pro League into a bigger team in Europe, my brother. And the next player on my list is Daniel Amadi. The centre back has really suffered in finding play time at Leicester City the whole of the season. Even though when he comes to Black Stars, he gets time to play. But my brother, Daniel Amadi, the dependable defender one some time ago for Leicester City, is now a player who plays on the bench. It's very difficult and sad, but he may have to leave Leicester City to find a place where he will get more play time because he's not making his mind to retire yet. No. Daniel Amati has some few years of his career to play for. So the possibility of Daniel Amati, whose contract is ending this summer, Leaving Leicester City is very, very high because he hasn't yet renewed it. Daniel Amadi would go somewhere else and find someone, some playtime. Daniel Amadi, I was speaking about. And the next on my list is Ernest Nyama. Ernest Nyama, a very young and talented lad who plays for Nordjylland in Denmark. Everyone who knows Nordjylland knows that is the team that produced Kamaudi Sulemana, Mohamed Kudus, and many, many other youngsters who was graduate from Right to Dream Academy in Ghana. And Ernest Nyama is having a very good season with Right to Dream in his first professional awards, senior season, in his first senior senior season for Nordjylland. And the center forward. Also help also help Ghana was qualify for the under twenty three Afghan, which will be staged in June this year, my brother. Ernest Nyama could also move into the big leagues when the tra- when the transfer window opens this summer. Ernest Nyama is the name, a very young lad who plays for Nordland in Denmark, and also the next on my list. Is Mohamed Salisu. If you don't know or you care to know, Mohamed Salisu has been benched for weeks because what the the club or his club are hunting things. He has made his mind not to play because he wants to move from the team towards to a bigger team. And it's not it's not funny or it's not rare that he's acting like that because teams like Newcastle, Atletico Madrid. And other teams in Europe are, are, out, are eyeing him and are out, following him and monitoring him closely because the center back is a very calm and cool center back who really brings and adds a lot to his game. So teams like Newcastle and Atletico Madrid are looking upwards and are studying the, 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 the situation that is going on. To replace their centre back or beef up their team with what Mohamed Salisu. It's a very it's it's going to be a very very interesting what summer this this year for the stars players. So I I urge you to what to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. Just remember to subscribe. So going to my going to another player is what Mohamed Kudus. Mohamed Kudus. Mohamed Kudus this season has played in what? In almost every rule, every forward rule. Because when the season started and they had 
and their coach started with them, he entered the Champions League playing as a false nine, in which he made four goals count for him. And he also has what a goal that's contending for what the goal of the season, Mohamed Kudus. He made very good use of his number nine rule, but because it's not where he plays, he struggled a bit. And Mohamed Kudus also lighten up at the World Cup. And even in the January transfer window, he nearly moved towards Everton. But last minute hinges or last minute transfer talks didn't really go well. And he, he and his move towards Everton didn't come to pass. But this summer, it is it is really, really becoming more likely because teams like Dortmund, Manchester United, and Everton, which is really, really going to be hard because they are almost on the verge of what getting to relegation, my brother. Everton and also Newcastle. Newcastle is eyeing on what beefing up their squad. So they are getting more and very, very good players to fill up their team. So Newcastle could also what get Mohamed Kudus into their team and they want him. It's it's very 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 interesting and going to be a very very interesting what summer. I just hope and I urge you to remember to subscribe to this channel. This is a few of them. And when anything comes up, we we'll definitely bring it up to you. Just try and remember to watch.